Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's go with Chiaki. Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles here. Sometimes, old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what, uh, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Oh, come on, Hajime. There's nothing wrong with playing video games. Look what I'm doing now. I'm playing video game. Uh, there's a lot of electrical appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of this looks old. Do they even still work? Okay, the microwave. Tero Tero would have never used this old microwave. He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cook the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile. But that's not long. But that's no longer possible. I'll finish your Whoa. I thought it was a building. Okay, last one. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. I think that's everything here. Wait. Ah, nice. Huh? I've been found. Thought you could fool me, hey. Okay, I don't think there's any more monocoma. Yep, I think that's it. Let's get out of here. I think that's pretty much everything here. We explored. Uh, we already went here in the hospital. Oh no, we still have the movie theater. Electrical Avenue, Music Avenue, and the motel. Yep, still have the <clears throat> theater. I thought, I thought I already, yeah. Yeah, we still need to get here. So, the Wild Gunman Monocoma, huh, and the Wizard of Monomi, <laughs> man what lame titles, he could have uh, done better than that, okay, oh, we're currently showing right now, so please wait 5 minutes for the next showing to start, showing, what does that mean? Are your eyes just for a show? Look around! This is a movie theater, right? Of course! Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to what to not watch it. I am Monokuma. On this island, my world, my word is the law. If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such a reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but what are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monocoma sticker? Whoa. 
What will we do with a sticker? Oh, there's an another monocoma here. I knew you could do it. That was pretty obvious. Okay, if this is ah, this is the poster of a spin-off of, of Dungan Rampa game. It's a video game poster. Hmm, looks interesting. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna buy that. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to the to this freaking dwarf here. There's no way I'd allow such reckless attempt to avoid watching my masterpiece. There's no way I'd allow it, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's check our pet if she's still alive. Oops, nice. Surveillance camera? Hmm. Oh, I think this is the sticker. Let's go with the popcorn. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami's face on it. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote. Is that uh, is that how you pronounce it? Tote, tote, or tote? Honestly, I really don't know. But, uh, let's say tote, tote bag, useful for a variety of common ass tasks. It's a limited item; only one person can have it. By the way. Apparently, toady bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Mm -hmm. So how about it? Wanna buy it? How fast? Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this the sticker you were talking about? Hm, I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-ass is this? Actually, to tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle-working priest. And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me! I don't even have that kind of money! And you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. I Whoa! It. I'm surprised! As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for the sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me sad, Monokoma. <laughs> but if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here. Come on, take it, thief. And slap it in your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Man, too late. Whoa there, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta collect these questionnaires. At that moment, Monokama started humming and skipped away toward the door leading into the theater. Slam! The door opened violently. And one person appeared from within. Hey, hey! Ah, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. 
Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Uh, can I go inside? Apparently, I can watch Monokoma specially made move. Wait, specially made... I think that's supposed to be movie. It's missing an eye. <laughs> However, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it cost me 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. <laughs> You're just now realizing, Hajime? Ah, I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie, oh, that's I'd, <laughs> I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? Okay, I don't think unless there's new dialogue for Monokoma. Hey Hajime, after Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not! Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Please wait. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery? At the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. W what are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. That Person in the Wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> Anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital, first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor? I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Okay, oh, Nagito's here. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? There are patient rooms lining in the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? Ah, okay. I think they're refer uh, he's referring to uh, Fuyuhiko. Maybe he's here. I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well. Nope, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you drag it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriate, magnificent, mag magnificent, man I can't freaking read, magnificent talent. Who, who knows, it's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please, go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Okay. Let's see. 
They said it was the far end. Whoa. Whoa. What the frick? Is that an alien? Everyone should be gathered at the patient's room at the very back of the hallway. Apparently, I'm the last one to show up. I should hurry up and go. Okay, I thought I could enter the rooms 1 to 3, but... They're not permitted yet. Oh, I can go upstairs. Wait, can I enter here? Nope. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're really... They're all really here, but what are they doing? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Yeah, I know. You all look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very obvious. Uh, when Nagito said uh, a touching scene. Hey, Yuhiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Um. Earlier, I asked Monokoma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> huh, you're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well, maybe Peko gave her life to protect for you, Hiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by the horde of marionettes. But, still. but if she really wanted to pr protect for you, Hiko, at all costs. It's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> What's wrong? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed, away from us. What happened to his freaking uh, attitude? Now that Peko's gone, I think, I think he shrank, man. Not just physically, but mentally also, <laughs> and stopped talking. Um, I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if if he overexerted himself. No need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one to avenge you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Um. You shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Akane, Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Move. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then... Do whatever you want. Hey, Nekumaru. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However, I'm never going to do it. What? I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? It? Please keep your voices down. You're the loud, loudest one here. <laughs> hey. Wait a sec, Nikumaru. It was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. 
Haha, uh -huh. I think they're re they're referring to training. Or unless you folks had your other minds on <laughs> My body still hasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey. hey you're kidding. Is it what I think it is? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nekomaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on, I can't live without it. With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on Nekomaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> it's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiro killed by Peko. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what it means, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey. Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. Uh... All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Oh. Oh yeah, I just realized Ibuki is here. She didn't utter a word, man. A single word. Since uh, since I got here. That's kind of weird. Even for her. <laughs> I am so glad that Fuyuhiko's life was saved. Perhaps. Like Chiaki said, it must be due to Peko. Yeah, that's probably it. I am concerned. But I'm getting a little tired. It must be from all the relief. We should leave the investigation of the new island for tomorrow and retire for the evening. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. I'll leave this matter entirely in your hands. It doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, Sonia forcefully reminds me she's a princess. What should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Um, please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. I will do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. <laughs> She's still glaring. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. It's been a while since I've slept a lot. 
my head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. Okay, we've got a nice collection here. The collection is getting uh, quite getting bigger. It's really not that good at hiding things. <laughs> Oh, it's Mikan. Oh, I thought you were going to take care of Yuhiko. Why are you here? Unless he's already discharged. Good morning, Mikan. Ah, uh, Hajime. Good morning. Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad. I went to check on Yuhiko, so I thought I was late. I see you're busy this morning. Not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. How's for you, Hiko, doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand, and I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. Okay, we've got three gals here. I oh, know four people. I oh, know five. What are you doing here? All of you. Yo, Nekomaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. Jeez, does he have to do like to be like this every morning? Good morning. <laughs> Alright, now your voice will reach the sun. Oh. And to our departed, Mahiro and Peko, you're right. I'm sure they heard it. Huh? I'm just a mere team manager. Therefore, I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mayru's photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. It's a pity what happened to Mahiru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Okay, it's good to know that uh, Nekomaru has a soft side also. Yo, Gunham, <laughs> for you to actually greet me in the morning, I phrase your admirable endeavor, slave. When did I ever become your slave? Speaking of slaves, Peko too was a foolish soul. Huh? I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, that's a limitation of base creatures. My, f my FDDD are not tools, nor are they slaves. Let's go, Chompy, Magazi, Sandy, Chompy. Ah, man, those names. They are healthy underlings and also friends whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to the military rule. At times, we clash over our ideals and our tempers flare. But that only bolsters our power and allows us to reach greater heights. <laughs> that is why I will one day exist as the supreme overlord of this world. Stay back. Just as I thought, apparently, it's too difficult for a simple human to understand. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. <laughs> hey there, Ibuki. Aww. Yeah, what, what is she doing, man? What's happened? Aww. I wanna listen. Huh? Emergency! I wanna listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists. There's no TV or radio here, you know. I'm starving to death from musical deprivation. Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? This is going nowhere. They, they do, but there's only the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Aww. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out of over the world. Man, if only someone brought me a sweet CD they found on the floor. A CD, huh? If I ever found one, I should tell Ab Ibuki about it. Ah, I think we have a present. Uh, yeah, a present that's a CD. I, ca I can give it to her. That's no problem. Okay, Akane, your turn. 